Hey guys, today we are reading a book. It's kind of like a Bible. Um, I think it is, but um, we're just going to read it, um, some of it at least. And it's called the NLT Bible Promise Book for Tough Times. Ooh, alrighty. Introduction. It might be a surprise to hear that the Bible promises us that rough times will come. As long as we live in the sinful world, troubles will be part of human experience. So what can we do? Just deal with it? Grin and bear it? Put a smile on our faces and pretend to ignore the pain? Or perhaps do the opposite and wallow in self-pity? Along with the Bible's promise that tough times will come, God's word also promises that there is present help and future hope as we live with pain and adversity. In every trouble, there is potential triumph. In every pain, we can find the very power of God to combat, combat it. In all our suffering, we can find salvation both in this life and for the next. There is no better place in God's word to discover this help and hope that we will desperately need. Isaiah 48 says, The grass weathers and the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. This means we can trust that when God promises hope to those who believe in him, this hope will not end in disappointment. When God promises to comfort those who mourn, Comfort will be supplied in perfect measure when God assures us that he loves us and that he has plans for our lives. We can know he is telling the truth. God is truth and his word <laughs> has stood in tests of time <clears throat> and will continue to be trustworthy throughout eternity so whatever you're going through no matter your problems you have god's forever promises to cling to while you're facing life's trials this book may be a small in size but it carries with it the powerful internal vows that god speaks to his people these promises were delivered to people in other times were who were struggling but they were also meant for you. God's promises in this book are arranged in alphabetical order by topic. So they are easy to find. And you will find other, find over 300 of them. Here. Can you imagine anyone who can make that many promises to keep them perfectly? God can, act, can, God can and does. He is always faithful to carry out his plans and fulfill his promises. As you read God's promises for tough times, picture God speaking, speaking directly to you. You will be amazed at how personal and deeply compassionate our God is. Our desire is that you will find new hope, be encouraged, and find rest in God's almighty presence in your life even when it feels as if the world you know is changing you can feel secure in the arms of your everlasting god and alpha and the omega who was is and is to come may god bless you for seeking him in your troubled times and may you find that god is indeed with you always the n l T, Bible promise book for tough times, abandonment. When you feel as if God has left you, those who know your name trust in you. For you, O oh Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. Palms 910. Abuse. When you have been harmed, we are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but... We are not destroyed. 2 Corinthians 4 9. When you wonder if God understands your pain, 
It was our weakness he carried. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God, punishment from his own sins. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so he could be whole. He was whipped so he could be healed. Isaiah 53, 4-5 when healing seems impossible, he heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. Palms 147.3 For you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in his wings, and you will go free, leaping with joy like hell, calves let out to pastor. Malachi 4.2 a vast crowd brought to him people who were lame, blind, crippled, those who couldn't speak, and many others. They land them before Jesus, and he healed them all. Matthew fifteen thirty. Accusations When you've been falsely accused, be careful to live pro uh, prop properly among your unbelieving neighbors. Then, even if they accuse you of doing wrong, they will see your honorable behavior, and they will give honor to God when he judges the world. 1 Peter 2.12 Even if you suffer for doing what is right, God will reward you for it. So don't worry or be afraid of their threats. 1 Peter 3.14 Keep your con um, conscience clear. Then if people speak against you, they will be ashamed. When they see what a good life you live because you belong to Christ. 1 Peter 3.16 When you've jumped to false conclusions about someone else, don't make judgments about anyone ahead of time before the Lord returns. For he will bring our darkest secrets to light and will reveal our private motives. Then God will give to each other, give to each one. Whatever praise is due. 1 Corinthians 4 5. Make, allow, uh, make allowance for each other faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Colossians 3 13. Addiction. When you've lost all control, do not let sin control the way you live. Do not give in to sinful desires. Do not let any part of your body become an instrument of evil or serve sin. Instead, give yourself completely to God. For you were dead, but now you have new life. So use your whole body as an instrument or do what is right for the glory of God. Sin is no longer your master for you no longer live under the requirements of the law. Instead, you live under the freedom of God's grace. Romans 6, 12 through 14. Letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death. But letting the spirit control your mind leads to life to, and peace. Romans 8, 6. When you doubt that God can free you from your sinful habits, he sent... Out his word and healed them, snatching them from the door of death. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he has done for them. Palms 107, oh my gosh, 107, 20 through 21. If the Son has set you free, you are truly free. John 8, 36. Because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. Romans 8, 2. The Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Joy, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Um, Galatians 5, 22 through 23. 
When someone you lo love struggles with addiction, Paul says, I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them intercide on their behalf and give thanks for them. This is good and please God, our Savior, who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. 1 Timothy 2, 2 1, 3 through 4. Adversity. When it seems like nothing good could come to your circumstance, God says, Call on me when you are in trouble, and I will rescue you, and you will give me glory. Poems 50 15. We know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Romans 8.28 Our present troubles are small, are small and won't last very long, yet they produ uh, produce for us a glory that vastly overweighs them and will last forever. 2 Corinthians 4.17 when you need divine help, God is our refuge and strength. Always ready to help in times of trouble. Psalms 46.1 God says, when you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of um, abrasion, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Isaiah 43, 2-3 When it feels like you're on a slippery slope, give your burdens to Lord, the Lord, and He will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. Psalms 55, 22 Advice Advice. When you need advice for the mess you find yourself in, plans go wrong for lack of advice. Many advisors bring success. Proverbs 15, 22. Get all the advice and instructions you can, so you will be wise the rest of your life. Proverbs 19, 20. Anger. When you're furious with somebody, don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you are still angry. For anger gives a foothold to the devil. If, if, oh my gosh, I don't even know that word. Epinthians 4, 26, 27. When you're holding on, a, holding on to a grudge. When you are praying, first forgive anyone... You are holding a grudge against, so that your Father in heaven will forgive your sins too. Mark eleven twenty five. If someone says, I love God, but hates a Christian brother or sister, that person is a liar. For if we don't love people, we, see, we can see. How can we love God, whom we can't see? 1 John 4, 20. When your anger is making the situation worse, a gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. Proverbs 15.1 Assurance When you find yourself in a gray area of life, the instructions of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. The decrease of the Lord is trustworthy. Making wise the simple of commandments of the Lord are right. Bringing joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are clear. Giving insight for living. Psalms 19, 7 through 8. All God does is just and good. And all his commandments are trustworthy. They are forever true. To be obeyed faithfully and with integrity. Psalms 111, 7 through 8. When you doubt whether God will really save you, Jesus says, I tell you the truth. 
those who listen to my message and believe in God, who sent me this inter internal life, they will never be condemned for their sins, but they have already passed from death into life. John 5, 4. 5, 24. When you need to know what your faithfulness will be rewarded, if we are faithful to the end, trusting God just as firmly as when we first believed, we will share in all that belongs to Christ. Hebrew 3.14 Attitude. When circumstances have worn you down and you need an attitude adjustment, be strong and courageous and do the work. Don't be afraid to discourage, for the Lord God is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. He will see to it that all the work of the Lord is finished correctly. 1 Chronicles 28, 20. My dear brothers and sisters, be strong and invable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty eight. Blessings. When you need a blessing in troubled times, may the Lord of peace himself give you his peace at all times. And in situations, the Lord will be with you. 1. What the heck is that? Thessalonians 3.16 when, when you want to be blessing in troubled times, don't repay evil for evil. Don't retaliate with insults with people insult you. Instead, pay them back with a blessing. That is what God has called you to do. And he will bless you for it. 1 Peter 3.9 Broken hearted. When you when your hopes end in disappointment, he lifts me out of the pit to of despair, out of the mud and the myrrh. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walk along. Palms forty two. When doubts filled my mind, my your comfort. Give me renewed hope and cheer. Palms ninety four nineteen. I pray that God, the source of hope will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then he will overflow the confidence, hope through the power of Holy Spirit. Romans fifteen thirteen. When you need your spirit lifted, it will be glad and rejoice in your unfailing love. For you have seen my troubles and you care about the anxious of my heart. I mean, of my soul. Palms 31, 7. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. Palms 34, 18. As soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me strength. Palms 138, 138, 3. Burnout. When you've been burning the candles of at both ends, it is useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night, anxiously working for food to eat for uh, for God gives rest of his loved ones. Palms 127.2 When you feel overworked or overtired, those who live in the shelter of Most High will find rest in the shadow of Amity. Palms 91.1 God says, I have given rest to the weary. Jeremiah 31.25 There is a special rest still waiting for the people of God. For all the all who have entered into God's rest have rested from their labors, just as God did after creating the world. Hebrews four nine through ten. Change. When change keeps moving you from one place to another, oh my strength to you I sing praises for you, O oh God, are my refuge, the God who shows me unfailing love. Psalms 59, 17. I am certain that God who begun the good work within you will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. Philippines 1, 6.
All right, guys. I will see you guys in that next video with this book. Thank you guys for listening.